Ancaster College is crowded with them. When you go to a school that's nearly as old as the country, you can expect to hear a few. It can be really hard for students of color. Just know I'm here. It's amazing, Gil. First black master. Very exciting. <laughs> it is. Hi, Regina, how you doing? Hey, Jamal, how are you? I'm all right. I, I, I'm curious because I know like when Malcolm uh, took, a, took a chance uh, with you and playing one of my favorite roles as Candy, um, I know you had the New York undercover before that, but how, is this kind of like giving back to like give Mary Mariama her first big feature and you a big seasoned actress that's done all these great roles to be able to like participate in that film? Was it any like, you know, paying it for when you decided to, to do that? Um, I don't know if that was it. I mean, I always like to support up and coming filmmakers. I mean, a young black woman who's making a movie but I think I also liked her script. I thought it was interesting. I thought that she really is gonna be a really powerful filmmaker, you know what I mean? And so I thought it was great, obviously, to support her, but also I just, I really thought it was, um, I thought it was an interesting work and I thought that she was, and I think she's really smart and I think she has a great vision for what she wants, you know, um, as a filmmaker. I know you're from DC and you had Howard right around the corner, but you went to Fordham, I went to Vanderbilt. Was any of these experiences that you played in this character, like, did you have any similarities to like the out of placeness or whatever when you was on a, a big PWC campus? Um, you know, I'm luck, you know, I did not experience, as, experience it at, as much at Fordham really, to be honest, as I did later when I went to grad school. You know what I mean? Um, it was very different at Fordham, but, of course, I had friends who experienced it differently when they were in undergraduate schools. I mean, you know, I don't think that being black that you don't ever not experience other at some point, you know what I mean? Whether it's at a store, at school, in a cab, I mean, you know, at, the, at your campus. I mean, I think it's not, or seeing someone you love experience it, whether it's your brother or your dad, I just think it's a part of it's so a part of your experience. That's what I liked about Gail, that it was so a part of it that, you know, you are taught, we'll just move, you know, endure it. You know, that, that is what you must do. So, must do. Um, but I did love that Mariama was able to put those experiences so subtly in a film and, and show how often it is suppressed and not necessarily dealt with. And then, um, you know, to show how a character like Gail who thinks that she's the example of change and she really realizes, well, it's not, it's actually the root that needs to be changed, it really isn't changing at all. I'm like a bandage to a problem that is um, recurring. I'm just worried about Jasmine. Yeah. I mean, who knows what she's going through? Kind of makes that grade dispute make sense. Yeah, they fix it on grades when everything else seems out of control. Yeah, but that dispute could control whether or not I get tenure. Liv, do not be dramatic, all right? You'll be fine. Look. I've never seen him so close to town. Let's go. We shouldn't be here. Come on. How did you feel with the with the short hairdo and everything? The, the look that we haven't seen you as on screen. Like, uh, how was how was that to give that look to and and and, and pull off the part? Um, well, I I mean, I did feel like it looked looked and felt like Gail, you know, not like Regina, and um, it felt really right. It felt like she you know, with her hair natural, which would represent diversity for the school. Watching it, of course, <laughs> you know, it's like, come on, Gail. You know, <laughs> no, like I was like, maybe the sweater could have been a little, a little, a little fit a little better. But I also felt like it, it, you know, it was so dropped in that when I was shooting it, it you know, it would have been weird to shoot it as anything other than that, you know, and even watching it, it didn't necessarily feel like me, but it is always interesting to watch yourself and be like, wow, okay, that's different. That's very different. But um, I was very honored to be able to, 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 to bring Gail to life um, 
from the pages and kind of um, not feel like Regina at all. You're always uh, one of my favorite interviews and favorite actresses. I think you do great interviews because of that NYU journalism degree. Ah! That you, uh, I don't know if that was part of it, but you always give great sound bites and always love talking to you. Thanks for the time. Thanks for giving us another great project. Can't wait to see the next best man or whatever else you got coming Oh, out. yeah. Thank you. You got to see Hunk for Jesus. I will look out for that. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you so much. Always good to see you. All right, Jamal.